Morning Market Call. Today, we're talking about the state of the BYU MBA program. I'm your host, Doug Mumford, and with me today is Dr. Craig Merrill, director of the MBA program. Good to be here. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, thanks for being here. And um, as I thought about this segment, I had, I had some questions about where the program has come or has been, where we're going, and kind of what your vision is. So we want to start there. Um, you know, sometimes we get caught up in things like the school rankings, but the fact is employers do look at those types of things and it, it does affect the perception of the program. Where have we come? What successes are we having with thing, metrics like school ranking, um, starting salary, GMAT scores? Can you speak to some of those topics? You know, I'm, I'm in my 18th year at BYU, and one of the things that I've really appreciated about the approach here is we don't manage to rankings. We feel like if we do the right thing for the right reasons, we'll get better and better. And it has paid off in rankings. They recognize that, in fact, the things we're doing are adding value and creating a better and better product. Uh, where we tend to show up the best is in the recruiter and the alumni surveys. We, um, y you know all the things that are measurable, like GMAT scores and work experience, and, and those metrics have improved every year. Over the last five years, our average GMAT score has come up from something in the mid-600s to close to 680. The average work experience of our students has grown from three to four years. The age has commensurately grown. But even, even more exciting than that is the quality of background and experience that our students bring. I, I'd describe us as being in a, a virtuous cycle. Um, we do something well. Our students get an opportunity to go out and represent us. The recruiters, the business community sees the quality of that contribution. That creates new opportunities, and the better the opportunities, the better the students that want to be here. And so it's been exciting for me to be in the MBA classroom for these years and watch the growing quality of the students and the breadth of the quality of our students. Do you have any specific examples of, of that where um, maybe we're attracting students that didn't think about BYU as an MBA program before, maybe they're looking at, at the higher ranked schools, or recruiters that are coming now that didn't used to come? So there's a couple of examples. Um, it's, it's increasingly common for a student that I'm interviewing in an, in an admissions interview to ask me about alternatives like a Wharton or a UT Austin, a Northwestern. Um, Stanford's a common comparison. And to really be weighing the pros and cons of the various programs, a higher percentage of our students than ever in, in the past have turned down admission at other ranked programs in order to join us at BYU. And the things that seem to be attracting the students include uh, programs that are unique to BYU, things like Cougar Capital, Silver Fund, uh, some of the marketing uh, field studies that are built into the curriculum, the, the success of the BYU teams in competitions and so forth. There, there are things that attract them here. Um, but at the core, they're drawn to the culture of the program. They're drawn to being among people of similar values and ethics about their approach to the workforce, their desire to go out and contribute. And, and they're, they're drawn by those who they, who they see who have graduated and represent the program mm -hmm. so well. One thing that I've talked with students about recently, um, and then I noticed from my first year, I'm a second year student, was that our professors are outstanding. And I feel that many of our professors are of the caliber that you will find at any of the top ranked MBA programs in the world. Um, can you talk a little bit about how our faculty is providing the foundation of this program? You know, you think back to your experience applying for an MBA program, one of your concerns is, will I get a world-class business education? Will I get the same training at BYU as I would at any of these other schools that, that you might be considering? And the key to being able to offer that is the quality of the faculty who we've been able to bring here to BYU. Our faculty are, that are teaching in the MBA program, they have given up opportunities to be at other very well-known schools because they want to be a part of what BYU and the Marriott School represent. So having that world-class faculty, having faculty who teach in executive ed programs, while here at BYU, they'll travel, they'll teach at the University of Illinois, at Wharton. Um, uh, we've got faculty who've gone and taught at Cambridge. There's, there's these connections that we maintain with these other schools. But we choose to be here. 
because this is a place that represents something that we want to be a part of. And uh, it, so it sounds like our program is really on a great trajectory. Um, my final question would be, so you're the MBA program director. What's mm -hmm. your vision for where you want to see the program go in the next few years? Um, I'll get just a little bit personal in answering this one. A, a number of years ago, uh, President Spencer W. Kimball gave a talk called the Sec Second Century Address. And he talked about what it is that BYU would be known for. And he talked about the need for our faculty to be world class. But he cautioned us and he, and he told us that we would be known for our students. And so my vision for the MBA program is to do everything we can do to help a student take their innate abilities and talents and to go out and shine, to represent what BYU represents. And so we, we've worked hard during my time that I've been with the MBA program a, a, as a group. It's been a combined effort of alumni and students and faculty who, who are all concerned about a great BYU MBA program. We've worked hard to build the opportunities for students to learn how to take their innate skills and to go out and really be influential quickly in their organizations. When one of our alumni brings their company back to recruit, they want to look good. The alumnus wants to be, have their company say, wow, we're glad you brought more BYU students. And so when our students go out and represent well, the alumni are glad they came back. And it gives the new graduates the confidence to then help bring companies back. And again, the more great companies we place students with, the more opportunities we create, and therefore the better the students we continue to attract. That virtuous cycle you were talking about. That's right. So we've, we've purposefully made changes in the curriculum and the orientation and the career services areas to introduce to students the opportunities to learn how and to sort of have permission, in a sense, to go out and really proactively contribute in their organizations. Well, Dr. Merrill, I appreciate your thoughts. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. And uh, for Morning Market Call, I'm Doug Mumford. Tune in next time. Morning Market Call is brought to you by the Marriott School of Management in cooperation with the Brigham Young University Department of Communications. MMC is made possible by generous donations from Larry Tasjan and Gary Williams. This show was produced by Jeff Butler, Janessa Cloward, David Wood, and Doug Mumford with line producing by Beth Grimmett. For more information, please follow us on Twitter and Facebook.